Now that Quinn Ryder and Saul have met and found the commonality time lapse, what will they do with their shared experience? Meanwhile, Xavier has left town seeking information and possibly an artifact. Let's see what else the new year has in store for our new friends. And Xavier, after a few hours of driving, you arrive uh, on the Hopi Reservation. To a small town, lots of basically trailer houses. What are you going to do? I'm going to pull up and see if I can't speak to uh, a village elder and talk to them about the name that I know of the artifact and 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 see if they can give me any information on it. So you're just going to pull up to a house and knock on the door? Excuse or? me. Have you seen this boy? Ah! Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, is it... A, but I, I'm sure they're all circled around. <laughs> like in a grouping? The houses? No, it's like a normal neighborhood. Well, so yeah, there's a grouping of these trailers. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, they're not like circled around. It's not like yeah. a big cul-de-sac or circling the wagons or anything. Oh. Jesus Christ, it's 2016, man. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> unsubtle racism aside... Uh, yeah, I'll pull up to the outside of town, and then I'll see if anybody is out. Like, if there's anybody out and about in the area. Uh, there's a lot of dogs. Lots Boy. of dogs. Uh, there's a few kids running around. You see some people. Uh, everyone's kind of keeping their distance, but watching you. So I, I will make a show of being very friendly and and wave at the and say hi to the kids and see if I can't find somebody who might be older and respected and see if I can't have words with them. Okay, give me a persuasion check. I can add my charisma to this, I assume? Yes, you can. Any social interaction check. Seven. Seven. You kind of, you know, trying to make friends. There's a couple of kids that kind of approach you, but uh, they don't get too close. Dogs also don't come too close. They're skittish. After a few minutes of, you know, the kids probably stand about 30 feet from you and just kind of watching you. So, guy comes up and he's probably in his late 20s, early 30s. Tall guy, like probably 6'5". Kind of walks up to you, kind of eyes you and just stands in front of you about 10 feet. Hi. He shakes your hand and says, what are you doing here? I just came because I had some questions uh, about uh, a historical artifact. and I heard it was last seen somewhere near the reservation, so I wanted to see if anybody, you know, if you had somebody here who knew a lot about history or things of that nature, and see if they knew anything about it. <clears throat> um, he's going to look to you and points down the road. He goes, Go stay at the hotel. Someone will talk to you in the morning. He walks away. Okay. I guess then uh, I'll go grab my car and pull it around to the back end of the hotel and ask for a room. Say it's going to be $117. Sure. Why not? Charge yeah. it. I got credit cards. I work for the police department. All right. So it gives you a room key. And All right. Yeah. I just, uh, I'll go in and sit down, make myself comfortable and Wait for somebody to come visit me. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, back in flight staff, <laughs> off the reservation, are th three other investigators have finally started talking to one another. Yeah. So I'm going to sit down with these guys and we're going to swap notes. Okay. Swap away. Okay, so, wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. You, you've been following a crow around all day. Like, Pretty much. Like, there's a lot of crows around, man. Same crow. Are you like an ornithologist? No, well, that's one big crow. It's like three crows put together. Okay. And it led me back to the to this area. And something felt really weird about the, the train station, so I visited there again and found the picture. 
Yeah. Uh, the girl at the the city hall. The, yeah. The, the the courthouse. So I went to the courthouse and felt really weird there. Looked around, didn't really find much. I was assuming that there was some kind of history that needed to be looked up. So I went to the headed towards the library near here. And uh, there was that crow again. And uh, well, he's pointing me towards the, the courthouse that's across the street. But again, I didn't find anything. Well, I looked around the library, but it's closed, so. Pieces of the puzzle I'm missing. Um, now, I'm not a spiritual guy or anything. You can't, you can't call me that. And I certainly really? don't believe in the supernatural whiny woe, Joe, but this is weird. Somebody's pulling something. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You seem to have followed that crow through some crazy uh, places. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You sure you're not a uh, <coughs> spiritual guy? Yeah, no, I didn't do anything weird because I just got mud on my shoes. No, actually, you know, I think I've read about this. Like, when there is an outer place kind of event occurring, you know, people, like, we just, we... We kind of try to rationalize it because it's out of the ordinary. And so, like, we just make stuff up about it. I mean, I, that picture looks really weird, man, but I don't know. I'm just not sure. Yeah, maybe it's the Matrix resetting itself. Yeah. No way that's true. So what's this about? The, you've got a picture of some kind of hole in the wall. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'll show him my growing slideshow. Mm. The well, he already see, saw the uh, picture from the bus. But you get the pictures that show that the grill moved mm -hmm. and the behind the the grill shot but that shows the outside of the hole. I think I'm gonna take a look at that sometime. Oh, I'm glad you wanna do that. Mm -hmm. He has some experience climbing. But he's think, just talking about the grill he's a cook, that's his thing. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly is. Um, but there was a police officer out here last night who seemed to react when I mentioned missing time and the tentacles that I saw come out of the time frame. Mm -hmm. I think we need to talk to him. I don't know what the legal matters with you involved with this, but... I can say that you know, somebody's going to go looking through a crime scene again. Probably want to have cop to give us an excuse. Yeah. Well, you got like his number or anything? No. Um, but we can find out easily. We just need to go to the police station. Oh, uh, oh well, yeah. Here's a phone number. I mean, the phone number of uh, my friend here. Uh, yeah, just you know, get a hold of me if you find uh, get a hold of him. And, you know, you want to do something. You know, go exploring this hole or whatever. You on so, some kind of drug? You don't want him to know about? No, no, man. I just not the whole police station kind of thing. I don't like it. <sighs> I'll tell you what, gentlemen. Why don't we meet here tomorrow for lunch? Can you do that? Mm. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow or something. I'll have to check my schedule, but 
I'll figure something out. I'll be here. I'm ready to... Oh, I work on campus. I'm a... I work in Cadillac. I'm a cook. Oh, by the way, I, I never really introduced myself and I did that. Sorry, my name is Saul Rogers. It's a pleasure to meet you. Mr. Rogers? Yeah. Oh, Quinn. And I'm right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys of... are both at the campus? Yeah. Ah, let me know. All right, well, I'm, I'm basically uh, free uh, right now, so we can meet on campus if that works for you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I don't it easy. All right. I need the three of you to give me one more nervous check. Oh, oh my, my six luck because of that one roll. It's no longer sixes anymore. Darn. Five. I got a three. And I got a four. Right. You're not solo anymore, Tim. The, That's the it. law of diminishing ninjas works in reverse. <laughs> 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 that and probably because his his drugs and he just upsets me so much I need to be calm. It's harshing your mellow. <laughs> Here, smoke some of this. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, everybody but Tim notices like out of the corner of your eye you don't really see them proper but out of the corner of your eye, I think you see three rats scurry into monsoons. You gave me the rats. Rats? You saw rats? Yeah, I thought I saw them when I was in there taking pictures earlier. I saw rats over at, uh, at the, what's called the, the Matterhorn Grill. Sitting there eating dinner. Saw some rats scurrying about. Must have a town infestation or something. Mm. I'll reach out to some of my friends in the health department to find out if they have problems. Man, if they like disturb the nest with that like air and then they're everywhere, like I'm not gonna be able to eat over here. Mm. I'll ask around to. Let's go on campus and see if I can find anything there. Right. Yeah, man, I'll catch you tomorrow then. Lunchtime, uh, cafeteria maybe? Yeah. That would be. Yeah. Mm. See you Xavier, you were in your room watching uh, HBO or the, watching HBO or the Disney Channel or whatever it is that you're into and it starts raining. It's raining pretty hard. Uh, it sounds like something smacks into the window. Can you give me a notice check? Okay. Give me a spirit test. And <laughs> what is your sanity? Yay! You doubled your sanity. Okay. Um, do you see a half dozen of this outside? They're uh, almost looks like an ins large insect of some kind, um, like a winged crustacean. Uh, maybe about the size of a small house cat. Each. Half dozen. That whole, I was muted that whole time. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Fabulous. Fabulous. So you got up and looked out the window. I got a 14. Doubled my sanity, which was 7. Right. Uh, is there any other reaction, anything going on outside? Uh, no, you don't see anyone else outside. Uh, but any reaction inside this 
quote unquote hotel? No. Uh, I, I, describe the hotel to me. Uh, it is a one story, two building, uh, internal hallways, okay. the entrance to the rooms. Uh, it's probably got a total of 25 to 30 rooms, you would guess. Uh, so it's a smaller hotel. Uh, there's a little restaurant near the front. What time is it? Uh, it's probably about 9.30 at night. So I'll go to the front desk. Okay. Is there anybody there? Uh, there's a little sign that says ring bell for service. Ding. And uh, after a few seconds, uh guy comes out. And, yeah. We can help you with it. My window got smacked. Um, is it broken? It's not broken. No. So what's the problem? It, there's, there's some insects out there that they're winging about the size of a small house cat. I mean, there's like six of them. I mean, is that a normal thing out here? Or have you ever seen one of these things? He just has this look of utter confusion. How about you just come take a look at this real quick? Okay. G give me a second. And he kind of goes through the doorway that he came out of, and you hear him grab some stuff, and then he comes back out, and he's kind of straight, and he a shirt, and he has a baseball bat. And, uh, uh, what, what's going on again? Big bugs. I don't know if it's big bugs. It's big, big, big bugs. Are you afraid of spiders, man? No. Not afraid of spiders. A, a little claustrophobic, but not afraid of spiders. So, much. so but I mean, the size of a small house. I'm not kidding, man. Just come, come look out the window of my room. Uh, okay, you lead the way, man. It's your room. All right, I'll take him over there. Okay. Can you go to the out here? Yeah, right up the window, right there. Kind of moves your curtain. Just kind of look in. Out, out here. That did smack my window. You, I mean, you see the mark on the window. He opens the window. And he... There's nothing out here, man. You're not doing anything funny in here. No. Not clearly, I'm losing. Well, I'm glad you said it. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm. I'm sorry I bothered you. I'm just. I'm here to. Learn some more information about the tribe, and then I'm just. You you want the bat for the night? No, I have I have my pistol with me. You you, you can keep the bat. Okay, man. And he leaves. Uh, give me a notice. That was a six. I should have left that. <laughs> Four. Like okay, you. Kind of make out him mumbling something under his breath about crazy, crazy white people. <laughs> he, he doesn't use, and he doesn't mention you, the color of your skin. He just mentions that he thinks you're a bit crazy. Yeah, probably. Is there a desk in my room? Yes, there is. I am just going to sit in the chair, put my head on the deck. Okay. And that's just all I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, probably about an hour after that. Can you just give me another notice check? Two. Okay, you have uh, crashed out on the desk. That's fine. Do any of you three want to do anything else uh -huh. tonight? Yep. As soon as it gets dark, I'm going back. You're going back? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And before it gets dark, I was going to go to the police station. Okay. You could. Okay. So we'll handle, you, we'll handle an order of options. All right. So chronological. <laughs> so you get to the police station, uh, go into the, the, the front doors, and there's like almost taller windows, you know, where the. Okay. Uh, can I help you? Up to the desk. Uh, yeah. Um, I was at the pine cone drop 
the other night, and I was speaking with an officer. Uh, I didn't catch his name, um, but I wanted to try to speak with him again. Um, I'll describe him as best as I can. Okay. Uh, okay, he takes me to his... Um, and, uh, what was your name, sir? Uh, Quinn Simmons. And uh, phone number and address, Mr. Simmons. Uh, I'm staying at the Little American at the moment, uh, room uh, 134. Given my cell number. Okay. You, you have some information now. And uh, he gets on the phone and he's talking for a minute on the phone. He goes, um, the officer you spoke with is has uh, taken some personal time off. Not sure exactly when he's going to be back. Is did you have a, something to add to your statement, sir? I can take that information from you. Uh, no. Um, I just was hoping to to thank him for his help and, and take him out to dinner or something. Uh, if you could pass along my information to him so that he can get back with me, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll leave him a note for you. Thanks. Okay. Is that it? Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah. Um, on my way, uh, as soon as we, we, we were done meeting, I would just head back to my house. I would keep myself open. Okay. And look around me. Kind of walk, not taking a, a like, a, 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 not heading directly home, kind of taking a roundabout way, just a roundabout way back to my house, but. Oh yeah, and when I said uh, as soon as it got dark, um, that's when he's gonna head out. But he's not gonna approach the place till more like two a.m. Okay. So we'll fast forward to two a.m. Nothing really happens with you. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's about two a.m. Uh, people are just starting to leave the bars because that's when they close. Yeah. What do but, you do? I'm gonna sneak in the back. You or, sneak. Well, Go approach it from the back and see if I can get in that way. Okay. Uh, are you being sneaky? Yeah, trying to. Okay, go ahead and give me a stealth roll. So uh, for the d4 minus 2, you, you still, still roll the your, d6. You still, still get your d6. That is also minus 2. Okay. Ooh. 8. With the minus 2? Yeah. A 6 and a 4 is 10. Minus 2 is 8. Impressive. <laughs> that that beats the two the police officer got. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so he does not. Know, he well, it is two a.m. and there is more interesting <laughs> things happening. Yeah, he's uh, he he's got his eye on some he college lie. kids, Se seeing if they're about to climb in their car or not. Yep. Um, so you go, and the back door is not. Accessible from outside. No, no handle. No. All right. So the back door is locked. Um. Does this area have like? Uh, is it? It's like you said. It was like a back alleyway kind of thing. It's kind of like a side alley. Yeah. Um, uh, there's. Is there like dumpsters, drain pipes, that kind of thing? Uh, not really. What there is is there's the back door to monsoons. There's some public restrooms. Across the way is the entrance to the Old Town Crapery and Diablo Burger. Hmm. Trying to decide if it's climbable or not. Hmm. Well, you know. Maybe not. But maybe the front door. He did say he walked right in, so never know. I don't know. He said the bars are still getting out right now. Yeah, the bars close at two, so yeah. that's when people, the bulk of people, start leaving. I'll try to. Uh, well. 
there's a public bathroom back here, so I'll just pretend I've been in there. And, uh, yeah, I'll look for a way just to try to casually go in the front, or go in uh, the front door or through one of the windows or something like that if it's darker there. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me a stealth roll. I doubt I will roll as well as I did last time. You can do it. Uh, five. Uh, you think you found somewhere really good, this window that they didn't board up, and you're about halfway through when all of a sudden there's a light on you. And you hear a authoritative voice say, uh, what are you doing? Oh, Turn around and be like, and there's a police officer standing there. Oh, man, I was just curious. Like, please, like, they say it was a gas explosion, but I don't believe it. I bet it was something else. Like, man, there was this there. He probably burned the place down. So I was just going to look. No, I shouldn't have done it, but, you know, just, I was curious, man. Have you been, uh, Drinking it all today? Uh, not today, no. You been using any substances today? Uh, not like, uh, like I said, I was just curious. Uh, that doesn't answer my question, sir. Uh, well, like, I smoke, man, but that's about it. And do you have a medical card for that? No, like, like, you know, pull out, like, a pack of just regular cigarettes. Give me a uh, deception. Or persuasion. Just give me a persuasion. Okay. Uh, ten. Head home. All right. Sorry. I shouldn't. Uh-oh, I won't come back. He just keeps his light on you until you walk. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> and all the while you're walking home, how did that fat, tubby, lard ass get in here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Walk right to the front door. Well, they probably were thinking somebody would come back at night. <laughs> he just walked through in broad daylight. Ah, man, why didn't I think of that? Brilliant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So the next day, Kerrigan, you wake up and wake up because you feel like wet on your face mm -hmm. and look over and a hole cut in the window. The wind's been blowing in rain. Mm. All right. I'll look around. Check to make sure that I still have all my gear. You do have everything, but your stuff has been gone through. Nothing is missing, but... I still have all my stuff. Yeah. Any evidence left behind? Uh... Go ahead and give me an investigation check. Uh, notice uh, where the glass is cut, where the window is cut. I kind of look at it and it looks almost like a moss around the edge of the cut. Some kind of plant substance. All right. What about on my stuff? Uh, there is also the same. Almost like something that had moss on it was in here. Some of the moss dropped off. Check my person. Uh, 
uh, a little bit, yeah. Um, and in checking yourself, you can also see uh, imprints on your wrist and ankles, like someone squeezed them, but like almost like a crustacean claw. All right. Well, let's. Uh, uh, we'll just wait this one out. Somebody is supposed to see me today, so I'll just gather up all of the gear, get everything set back up, and wait until somebody comes to see me. Okay. And I mean, get the gear ready so that as soon as this conversation is done and over with, I can move. Okay. Yeah. So you're just finishing up getting ready and you know, getting all your stuff packed and ready to... And there's a knock on your door. I'll go to the door and answer. Uh, there is an older gentleman uh, dressed fairly well. I hear you're looking to talk to people. Yeah, and that's a true story. I'm very interested in certain histories of the tribe. Why? Some very strange happenings. Uh, come in, come in, come in. Comes in. Do you see this, this hole in the window and the, the gatherings that have come up? on the window's edge and on the floor. And then I'll show him my wrist and, and show him the mark. And have you ever ever seen something like this before? You've been visited. Good. I'm getting somewhere. Uncomfortably getting somewhere. So what what do you need? You're new. They wanted to see who you were. Who's they? What is that? They are from the stars. And and these have these things have been around you. They they they're around your people. They're comfortable with your people. They've seen your people. There's been stories, but it's it's not a common occurrence. I've never seen one. I, I saw half a dozen of them last night. And I, I, I told the, the night man about them, and he thought I was crazy. No, you didn't see them. I will describe them exactly the way I saw them last night. No, that's something else. Then what are those? What, what you saw, I don't know. But this moss-covered thing is a visitor from the stars, is what you said. Yes. And is, is there just the one? I mean, what do you know about? That is only for the tribe. Clearly, I'm indoctrinated <laughs> at this point, as, as they have chosen to visit me. Whether or not I knew or not, I've been a doctor. I think I deserve to know a little about. Then you should ask them. Where where would I go to? You said they were here. At some point, some some point in the middle of the night, they came. And they saw they left. I mean, all why didn't stuff. you ask them then? I was asleep. They made those marks while you were asleep. Yeah. Why do you sleep so soundly? It's been a rough couple of days. I, what do you know? I can't remember the artifact. Well, you can give the Hopi version of it. In Boys and Girls, this is why you take notes in your book. It's true. It's a factual statement. Take your notes. Dale, Lot Dale Lott's Lens is the name that you Okay. Have. Yeah. So then I'll just give a little dead space right here. What do you know about Dale Lott's Lens? 
Why are you looking for it? I, I've been doing research, and it seems like a lot of things are happening around the town of Flagstaff. And, and and through my research, I've seen reoccurring mentions of this lens. And it's supposed to help you see the truth of things. Is that what you read? That's what I've read. What do you know? I know that you should find Alice. You should leave the reservation. Who's Alice? He just walks out the door. Why do people keep doing that to me? It's our character's reoccurring theme. I see crows. You have people walking away from you. Constantly. I'm confused. He's getting high. You're I'm angry and I'm armed. And nobody's making any damn bit of sense. <laughs> you should either report this hole in the window or get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'm going to report the damn hole in the window. Okay. And you'll be charged $150 for damages on your card. It's not my fault. Uh, when you rent a hotel room, part of the signature on that dredge card, it, you accept all responsibility for all damages to the room while you're there. <laughs> to protect and serve. Well, me. <laughs> I'll ask on my way out to the car. I will ask passers by about Alice or see if anybody will mention or say or tell me anything about the name Alice. Uh, give me a persuasion check. Please don't fuck me. <laughs> fuck me. Six. Um, you ask a couple people and they just kind of won't. Well, most people are talking to you, you know. Yeah. Uh, typically, you have to be invited a, there. You a, can't a, just. A crazy up. guy is yelling at them in the parking lot. Hey, you know Alice? Hey, you know Alice? I'm not doing it like that. Where's Alice? Um, but this one teenage boy hears you asking someone, and when no one around comes up, he's like, Alice? You for Alice? Yes. An old man told me that I must go see Alice. Kind of, he's kind of nervous. He looks around. <laughs> That's in Flagstaff. Alice is in Flagstaff. Yeah. You're talking about the elder. The, the old guy. Yeah, the old guy told me he needed to go see Alan. Yeah. That's in Flagstaff. Yeah. Who is Alan? Alice who? Alice, she's in Flagstaff. Does she have a last name? I don't know. Do you know how old she is? She's downtown. She's downtown. And then he leaves. Recurring theme. Get that grin off your face. Dude. Say what? No. Say get that grin off your face. I swear if one person, just one more person, walks away from me mid-conversation, I'm going to... It wasn't mid-conversation. No, I'm going to pistol whip him. He had completed his, his... I'm going to pistol whip him. <laughs> like Farva and Super Troopers. <laughs> pistol whip. Right now. <laughs> It was that place that you played yoga. Uh, oh. All right, I'm going to get in the car. And I'm going to get the hell off this reservation. And start heading back to Flagstaff. As soon as I get in the cell range, I'm going to access... Actually, I-40 has pretty good cell coverage. Yeah, but probably not exactly. Once you get off the reservation. 
but uh, the reservations actually have a contract with U.S. Cellular, and they're the only ones that can put a tower within so many miles of the reservation. Mm. So everyone else is really spotty out there. So as soon as I get back to where I have service, I'm going to access police files and cross-check Alice, the name Alice, with Hopi Reservation. And see if there's any ties to anybody with the name of Alice and the Hopi Reservation, the Hopi tribe, or the Hopi people. Okay. In the Flagstaff area. Well, yeah, that's the only files I can check. And of course, I'm not going to do this while driving. So as soon as I get oh. off the reservation and into cell area, I will pull over. Yeah. Protect and serve. Suck it. Protect, ah. serve, and check the internet. No, checking a secure police database. That's a, there's a huge difference there. Plus, the database won't walk away from you when you're talking. Yeah, the database <laughs> won't walk away mid conversation and get pistol wet. His cell phone dies right in the middle of the. <laughs> no, I have a car charger. That is explicitly <laughs> stated. Right now? Right now. All right. Go. Get away from me. Find somebody else to bother you, savage. Does he have a message in his inbox? Does he have a message in his inbox? He's not at cell service yet. Okay. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? Going to work. Hey, you go to work. See so Jen until probably like 10 or 11. Hmm. I wasn't looking near the university, but uh, I will expand my search. For um, housing to that area of the city. Okay. Mm. So you're looking for housing? Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, and I think I'm just going to look for uh, ways to spend some money. Um, see, this was... What year was it again? 2016. Okay. Okay. Um, this is the very fictional events of a few months ago. Okay. I can't remember if it was a year longer than that. Okay. Uh, yeah, until until lunchtime or uh, the officer gets a hold of me. You know, I'm just going to be maybe drafting an email to to contact former clients or current client, I guess. Yeah. So the practice it's not uh, kosher. Uh, I'll be drafting some uh, ad copy, I think. Maybe looking at some designs for websites. Tim, mm -hmm. uh, you're cooking in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Okay. Five. Five. Uh, you're, you're just, you know, back there learning some Frankie goes to Hollywood. Some old damn. Hmm. I'm just, I'm just picturing your character like the cook from The Wedding Singer. Yeah, just sitting there cooking, being me, listening to music. Don't you? I know that one. 
Sometimes it sucks being the youngest person here. Alex, you wake up. What do you do? Um, go out for a cigarette and then uh, look at the time. Realize I got to be over there pretty soon, probably. But still waste some time doing this, like taking a shower and get, uh, <coughs> watching watching cat videos on the internet, and then head over. Sparing us the patchouli. Mm. I approve. <laughs> Not using incense. Mm. Dan, you do manage to find a couple of apartments for rent in uh, Brandon Homes area, which is uh, south of Southside and to the east across the street there. So just Right next to campus. All right, cool. Uh, I will try and uh, get in touch with the listing agent to take a look at them. Okay. And I'm going to leave early. Um, I think maybe I want to investigate a possible teaching position. Maybe an adjunct position or something. Uh, I'll make an appointment for that if I, you know, I'll go there. You know, who do I have to talk to? Uh, give them yeah. my you know, out of date business card. Let them know that the number's so good. Okay. Uh, they just uh, they take the card and they refer you to a website where you can. Fill out an application and attach your resume. All right, I'll do that. The lady you talked to is a younger lady, and she seems kind of annoyed that you didn't go to the website first. And then I'll head over and meet with them. You had to meet in the cafeteria. Yep. When I see the, uh, see him or him walk in, it's like, uh, hey, I'm going on, on my break. Um, so they do, they, they arrive within a couple minutes of each other. Okay. Gwen will probably get there first because actually the building where the food stuff, all the food courts are in there is the same building that the offices where he would have been to mm -hmm. find that information on. It's all the same. Quinn, good to see you again. How are you doing? All right. Got a little busy there for a while. Getting my break here. Well, I haven't heard from that officer yet. Mm. Shame. It's about the time that Alex shows up. Hello, uh, Reich, was it again? Ryder. Ryder. Good to see you again. Mm, yep. So, uh, let me look at the uh, police station. The officer is has taken some personal time. Mm. I asked to get him a message to contact me. Um, I'm not sure how long that's going to take to get to him. Mm. Well, you guys see anything weird since our last meeting? No. No. I haven't seen anything. Not really, no. Are you guys on Facebook, LinkedIn, or anything? Oh, my phone. Mm -hmm. MySpace? Yeah, Facebook. Yeah. Ugh. No. I only have one friend on MySpace. <laughs> Is it your mother? 
Uh, Tom. <laughs> it's Tom. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's my space. Facebook doesn't give you any points. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that what it's supposed to be? Is that what Tom is? Is is, is MySpace giving you a friend? Well, he's the guy that found your MySpace. Oh. So you're automatically have to be his friend to be on MySpace. I never look it up. Um all right. Uh I'll do a quick search for you guys. Yeah, that's where I there. That one. Yeah. Alright. I do. And then I'll create a group. I set it to closed. It's a secret. For now. Okay. I'll invite you guys. What's your group called? Pinecone Survivors Support Group. Okay. Survivor Support Group. And next week, uh, we will see what the Pinecone Survivor Support Group will uh, <laughs> accomplish. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. <laughs> <laughs>